Okay, we are investigating a uh, circuit breaker panel that is overheating. This circuit breaker is at least 120 degrees or more and uh, overheating the entire panel. So we've got a issue. We are going to try and find out why if we have a short or if it's just a bad breaker. And uh, so I'm going to pull this. We're going to look at the uh, back panel here, make sure that uh, we don't have any issues there. I'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, so the breaker that's overheating is the main 100 amp breaker. So we're going to have to uh, pull the meter for the entire house because uh, that's there's no other way to uh, disconnect the feed. So we're going to be looking at all these connections here, making sure that they're all nice and tight, looking for corrosion. We have a little bit of corrosion here on this main. This is our power coming in, this is our power going out. You can see on our neutral line we're a little corroded, so we're going to try and fix that. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and replace that breaker. Okay, so we're going to pull the uh, breaker back here. Since we got power off to it, we're going to take a look at it. Make sure that uh, the, see if there's a problem with the connectors or anything. And try and find out why it's overheating. If it's just a bad breaker or if it's uh, short or bad neutral. But this breaker is at least 120 degrees. It's indicating a major problem. So we'll pull it off, inspect the wires, look for any skinned areas on the wires, anything that would cause the main issue. Doesn't look like we have a problem with the wires. So we'll check the uh, neutrals and the grounds. We did have some corrosion outside. No corrosion on the inside. But we'll tighten everything up. Loose connections can cause this problem. So uh, let me tighten everything up and we'll, I'll show you uh, uh, the installation of the new breaker. Okay, this one is uh, kind of hard to see there, but it's an ITE. You have to go back with the uh, same brand style. This one is a Siemens, Siemens ITE, same thing. Uh, you must go back with the exact style that the uh, panel's rated for. If you don't, then uh, you could cause a bunch of issues. And it's a violation of code to go back with anything other than manufacturer recommended breakers. So. Let me, uh, since these lines here are really too far back, we're going to trim those down. Then we'll connect the uh, breaker and I'll show you how to put it back in. Okay, we got the uh, wires connected, trimmed down properly. So now you're going to line up the back feet and make sure that they slip into the back feet just right. And then it should be fairly easy to uh, push them down. And if it doesn't, it'll jump right back out. Kind of hard to do when uh, you're holding a camera. But let me put it down, and I'll line it up and push it in. And uh, then we'll start diagnosing where the main problem is. Okay, we got it lined up. Feet are tucked under and everything's fitting nice and snug. We're off here. I'm going to go put the meter base back in. Then we're going to start testing each and every circuit. See if we have a short to ground somewhere.